namaste from dhananjay and welcome in our journey into the next step toward the minds of the greatest men and women of the world this video dedicated to a very devotional subject surrender this is not meant in the same way as committing a crime and surrendering to police this is a different kind of surrender surrendering yourself to a higher self and becoming one with that so surrendering requires absence of ego absence of ownership absence of i-ness and absence of your influence absence of your commands on other people absence of your greed to in your relationships in your business in your work so all that put together is what is surrender in the gita also in chapter 13 lord krishna saying after arjun is uh, questioning everything and doesn't understand or pretends not to understand what is being said about karma yoga dhyan yoga gyan yoga so in the end krishna says that if you don't understand any of this if you don't understand that i am the doer you are the medium if you don't understand sankhya if you don't understand what is the best karma how to get freedom from the results of karma then just do one thing surrender to me now that is not a sign of weaknesses that you are surrendering therefore you are losing something you are becoming higher so surrender requires devotion self awareness is the key because unless you know who you are then how would you know who is surrendering what to whom so unless you know your goal your intention is to become the higher is to join and merge with divinity so you are surrendering yourself does not mean that you are going to die you are surrendering the fruits of your action you are surrendering your selfishness you are surrendering your small mind small understanding small journey into the realm of consciousness so in those areas you are lacking and you are uncertain indecisive what to do where to do how to do you are in a maze so the instruction was that surrender your actions surrender your ego surrender your little self which you do not know surrender and become me merge in me me be the higher self and then you will be free of all tension you will automatically do things without ownership of the result so that is a supreme state so with this comment i will move to the quotation is by norman maclean i sat there and forgot and forgot i sat there and forgot and forgot until what remained was the river that went by and high i 
who watched. So the whole thing disappeared, the whole scenery, the whole world disappeared. So the point is that the author is sitting near a river and he kept forgetting everything else except that the river is flowing next to him and he is watching. So, even now there are duality, the river which is flowing and he who is watching. Now see what happens next. Eventually, the watcher joined the river and there was only one of us and I believe it was the river. So, this is the essence of it. You are connecting with nature. You are observing. And then, you are so immersed in nature that you as being separate from nature, that concept has disappeared and you become part of nature. You become nature and then you have access to the entire openness, entire depth of nature because you become it. So I sat there and forgot and forgot until what remained was the river that went by and I who watched. Eventually the watcher joined the river and there was only one of us. I believe it was the river. Mahatma Gandhi gives a simpler version of the same concept. My imperfections and failures are as much a blessing from God as my success and my talent. This is the notion of equanimity. That my failures and my successes both are God's. And I lay them both at His feet. My imperfections and failures are as much a blessing from God as my success and talent. And I lay them both at His feet. This is surrender. This is quite different that if something went wrong, it is my destiny's problem. God has created it, nature has created it. And if I am successful, it is what I did. So that differentiation has to end. Now this quotation in a poetic format by Li Po does the same thing with mountain that the earlier quotation suggested about the river. So it's the same story told in a different style. The birds have vanished from the sky. The birds have vanished from the sky. Now the last cloud drains away. We sit together, the mountain and I, until there is only the mountain. So in this poetic form, this is a beautiful narration of the experience of surrender. And I must say, anyone, including myself, may have felt this. When you are standing in front of the mountain, what do you feel? What I felt was smallness. That I am so small compared to that. I am basically nothing. And you enter into communication with mountain, with mountain, with fountain, with river, with caves. So there you cannot experience it if you keep yourself separate. If you think you are a separate identity of from all of it, then you will be only looking at it through your eyes. And eyes are not capable enough to 
to give you the full experience of immersion, of engagement. So the birds have vanished from the sky. Now the last cloud drains away. We sit together, the mountain and I, until there is only the mountain. So thank you for watching. We'll meet again soon. Until then, Namaste.